And just in case you didn't know, but you probably do, uh, same for chat, this is the lead developer. This is the lead developer. Uh, in 2020, uh, they were a dude. And in 2021, uh, they're still a dude, but with Photoshop. So uh, that is who is leading the charge uh, with this game. Uh, bio still the same. Yeah, bio identical to all the others. <laughs> I d interchangeable bio. That is who is running the fucking show. Oh, and you'll be absolutely shocked to hear that they are a big preponderant of the character of Tash. The one, by the way, who goes by they, them, non-binary. Uh, everyone's got to apologize uh, about them. Have you seen this one? Rook. Yes, yes. Take yes. a hard look in it, kid. Uh, it'll always show the face of a hero who can get it done. And if you choose the option, it says, <clears throat> examine option related to scars. Uh, one will conclude the conversation. As a non-binary person myself, Veilguard includes some of the most authentic dialogue they're going on to say. And further on in that conversation, uh, you are probably aware uh, that we go here. We go to this part here. Uh, establishes transgender identity and unlocks new dialogue options in future conversations. Why? Because you're not allowed to escape this fucking like, and that's shit. That's the problem. It's like you're you're forcing people one way or another to be a part of this fucking charade. There's no way around it. It's ham fisted. On your nose. And you can't avoid it. Huh? But I'm just seeing things, as no, no. Well, uh, are you seeing that? Because I'm seeing I will put knitting men, because the guy, by the way, is knitting in, in Dustborn. He's knitting with pink uh, wool. I've already got to that point. I've already, I've already fucking lost, you know, brain cells over that. I will put knitting men and sexy non-binary peeps in your video game, and I will never oh, stop. Sexy in his Be picture. afraid I come non -impe I, Dude, I wouldn't have a wank and throw on any of them. <laughs> where? Is, where? I challenge that. I don't know. Do I wanna do I wanna go with the, the Vita Ligo fucking cosplaying Muslim? No, I'm good. Uh do I want the fucking ironing board resting bitch face twat? No, I'm good. Do I want the other ironing board fucking resting bitch face twat just of a slightly different colour? No, I'm good. Do you want the fucking guy that knits with pink fucking wool? Nah, I'm good. You know, not not my kettle of fish. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, <laughs> Hey, Smash GT doing the Lord's work again. Uh -oh. Look at this. Look at this phrase which keeps popping up. Uh, return to form. Return to form. Return to form. Return to form. Uh, it sounds like the script got ran. Um, and, yeah, and these, are these, these are the bullet points that they're given to insert into their reviews. Just remember how Chung Chi was a triumph, and everybody oh, said triumph. triumph. Triumph, absolute triumph. It's a triumph, 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 everywhere. It's a joy if you're Kamala. Well, for us for a while, they, they, they're not there. They're not saying that anymore, uh, apparently. But yeah, um, it some, sounds like the script got deployed. Hey, hey, well, yeah, the, uh, the, uh, the bullet points got uh, passed out. Well done. Uh, glad that you're adhering to the narrative. Here, here's your we're access. Pat them on the head. Here's your access. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, we're shutting the fucking company down. <laughs> we won't be around to give so, you. More so access, yeah, but... so you won't. Be, yeah, we don't get <laughs> around to do another game that you can get access to. But maybe EA will push you into another one of their companies. They're going to shut down. Dragon Age: The Veil Guard Review. The best. Bioware game I've ever played. There's no way that person's serious. I, no, look, it's okay. probably the maybe, first Bioware game they've maybe, ever played. Maybe, it okay. might be the I first video game. It, guys. I played. haven't played it. I haven't played it. So you know. Yeah. I can't, can't say. Shut I your fucking mouth, Eric. 
shut your fucking mouth. Have you played? No. That is exactly what you would be saying. Dude, uh, that is just the absolute personification of fucking soy boy cuckold. And I know those terminologies are a bit tired nowadays, chat. I understand that. But it is, though. This is a guy that's brought to tears by his wife's girl, uh, his wife's boyfriend railing her as he holds his hand, not her hand. Fuck. Brought to tears of joy, of soy. Tears of soy. Oh, my God, man. Uh... How about that? I, you know, I've played all three, well, the three major Dragon Age games, what, uh, Origins 2 and Inquisition. Uh, there is a notable drop-off, you know, in the three games in terms of the dark fantasy element to them. Uh, Inquisition was divisive enough amongst it was players. Really divisive. Oh. This, this doesn't have the brand power to to pull through you know i said if this does three million it would do that would be fucking something i i it's not going to get anywhere close to that if star wars outlaws does a does a million what the fuck is dragon age going to do five hundred thousand six hundred thousand but if you here here we go here uh tash come on i should tell my mother how karash is doing uh, congratulations. You've chosen to encourage Tash by focusing on the benefits of a multicultural background. Well, I better for sure have the option to do the complete opposite of that. Uh, no, sir, you do not. I need to be able to say, no, fuck sir. your multiculturalism. Uh, no, sir. Not no. interested. No. That better be an option. No. God damn it. Don't, don't shoehorn me into no. accepting this bullshit or putting up with the charade. No. But uh, we can deal with hypocrisy. Uh, this is a this is a tweet that I actually put out uh, a couple of days ago. Uh, let's see if you can spot the glaring error. So the dragon hunter has a softer side. The kin says you take care of people. The kin says you take care of people. I'm from Ravain. Not like I follow the kin. You've got the arm ropes. Sure. I wear a lot of stuff. You don't get to tell me who I am. I'm from Ravain. Not like I follow the Kuhn. The Kuhn says you take care of people. Pretty contradictory. Yeah, just a wee bit. Just a wee bit. Just a wee bit contradictory then. Just a wee bit contradictory. Like I say, man, I, I don't I, I don't know. Um I think the difference. What did what do you remember? What IGN gave it was a seven, right? Uh, Outlaws, a uh, seven, I believe. Yeah, so it was seven. So because they are giving it generally, the access guys are giving yeah. it generally positive reviews, despite it being as divisive as what it looks like it's going to be. I will be interested to see how that reflects on the sales of this game. Well, it did it did jump from 48th most purchased game on Steam to second behind Call of Duty. Yeah. So there has been but we are also in the final week going into launch, and you would expect Yeah, I mean somebody's gonna it is a to, it's a major title, so it's gonna yeah. be bought. Right. Um <clears throat> I be I'm a, I don't know. If we ever get the numbers, I would love I mean if if they and we we can see that when it comes out, we can see the concurrent players on Steam. We can see what the numbers are. Yeah, that'll be interesting for sure. So we we can at least see uh, an idea of how popular it is based off how many people are playing. Uh, it'll also give us a, a very good idea about the drop off rate as well. How quickly would it take people to to drop from the game? I'm, I'm interested. <laughs> no, the Canary are not badass warriors. The Canary are now uh, fucking photoshopped, fairy faced. Uh, non-binary pronoun ranting twat waffles. That's the Canary. Always has been. Get with the program. Crazy, huh? Oh, man, this is. I, I'm. I really don't know how this is going to impact Bioware in terms of its um its sales. 
I'd be very interested to see if this thing just go, completely falls off a fucking cliff and Bioware says, or EA for that matter, just says the, fe- the hell with it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to head over to Ripperverse.com to check out our comic book company. We have books, plenty of merchandise, and even some glorious animations from Ripperverse Studios. 